Hi everybody! Today I thought we'd do something a little different. Instead of reading a book for literacy, I'm actually going to read a book about science for science in my reading spot that I normally read in. Today I'm going to read The Magic School Bus. Hello out there! And this is a book about the solar system. Hello out there! This is written by Joanna Cole and it's illustrated by Bruce Deegan. Miss Frizzle isn't like any other teacher. She has bright red hair and wears funny dresses. Our class is used to Miss Frizzle, but she must look strange to other kids. Well, Cousin Arnold, my teacher doesn't dress like that. Oh, that's nothing. Sometimes the frizz looks totally weird. Last week, our class was busy making a model of all of the planets in our solar system. The planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. We made sure all of our model planets travel around our model of the sun, because the real planets travel around the real sun. Ralphie was having a really bad day. I'd rather live anywhere than here, he told Miss Frizzle. Maybe I could even live on one of those planets, or maybe even the moon. That's when Miss Frizzle got that time for a field trip look in her eyes. Everybody on the bus, she said. I've heard the moon is made of green cheese. In my old school, the cheese stayed in the cafeteria. First stop, the moon, Miss Frizzle called back to us. The bus began to bump and shake. Then the magic school bus blasted off into outer space. Remember class, Miss Frizzle said. The moon travels around the earth just the way the planets travel around the sun. Miss Frizzle landed on the bus next to the American flag. According to my research, this place is where astronaut Neil Armstrong first Step down on the moon, said Dorothy Ann. It's time for us to step down, too, Miss Frizzle said. Put on your spacesuits, everyone. My school uniforms are much nicer than these. We found plenty of rock and dust on the moon. We didn't find any green cheese, or any other food for that matter. There's no water here, Keisha said to Ralphie. There's no air either. Without water or air, nothing can grow. I'm sorry, but there's no way you could live on the moon. Ralphie looked embarrassed. Maybe I could live on Mars, he asked. Miss Frizzle got that look in her eyes again. We knew we were going to Mars. We looked out the window. We were heading toward a red planet. Here we are, class, Miss Frizzle said. Take a look at Mars. As you can see, the soil here is red. That's because it has rusty iron in it. Ralphie shivered. Brr, it sure is cold here. I don't think I could live here either. Miss Frizzle grinned. That's true, Ralphie, but it sure is the best place for ice cream. Ralphie was getting discouraged. Maybe there wasn't a planet he could live on. Not anywhere in the whole solar system. Ralphie looked out the window. Next stop, Jupiter, Miss Frizzle said. Ralphie looked out the window and sighed. Just then a big chunk of rock whirred past the bus. The bus swerved back and forth, dodging hunks of metal and rock. Janet got a know-it-all look on her face. Those are 
asteroids, she said. Chunks of rock and metal in orbit around the sun. You can even see a few asteroids out the windows. These are these rocks right here. Ralphie was still shivering. Miss Frizzle, he asked, can we go someplace warm? Good idea, Ralphie, Miss Frizzle said. She turned the bus back in the direction of the sun. The sun was amazing. Look how huge it is, Tim said. I wonder how many Earths could fit in the sun, Keisha asked. More than a million, Miss Frizzle answered. Hold on to your goggles. Ralphie looked out the window of the bus. Wow, that blue planet looks nice, Ralphie said. There's plenty of water, and I think I can see green forests. I wonder what planet that is. I just knew I'd find a planet to live on. Yes, Ralphie, you could live on that planet, she said. It is the third planet from the sun. It is the only planet in our solar system that has both air and water. Janet's mouth dropped. She couldn't believe it. Miss Frizzle really was amazing. She had actually found a planet Ralphie could live on. We were all really glad to be back home on Earth. We were even more glad that Arnold's cousin Janet had stopped bragging about her school. Ralphie was smiling. He felt lucky to be in Miss Frizzle's class. After all, no school has a teacher as great as Miss Frizzle, and there's no bus like the Magic School Bus. The end. What was your favorite place they traveled to? They went to the moon, they went to the sun, they went to Jupiter, and they even saw asteroids. But this planet is called Earth, and that's where we live.